All right, guys, we are in King Kakuji. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically a temple that has gold on it and the area already so far you can see super naturey, super nice. Woo. We got the map. We got the temple right there. King Kakuji, Japan temple is include all, all like tree like here floor yeah. not only temple yeah yeah but the main thing is yeah 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 so this is the entrance to the temple grounds like in part one this place was unusually empty it opens at 9 a.m and closes at 4 p.m so if you go early i'm sure you won't run into a lot of people the tickets were 400 yen which translates to about three dollars and 70 cents usd they give you a little pamphlet that's also in English, which I appreciate. And without further ado, let's check out King Kakuji Temple. So the areas you can walk are made of this brightly colored gravel and along the sides are fences made of bamboo. There's beautiful green trees and plants everywhere. Some of the many islands in the pond had little sculptures on them too, which I thought was pretty cool. There are also these cool stairs that you weren't allowed to walk on, which makes sense considering how old they must be, but I wanted to walk on them pretty badly. <laughs> also this little natural waterfall, which adds to the whole atmosphere of this place. So we got some cool vending machines. We got a Michael, which is this woman right here. Michael girl. A lot of different ways to pay. And we got green tea from Kyoto. Has some small designs. We got custom temple vending machine. We also got a Coke one. We got ice cream, Hagen Das, and this gold vending machine. All right, so we're done with the temple. It's looking a little rainy. Uh, we're gonna head to the bamboo place. Yeah, hopefully, the weather doesn't get too bad. So it's been like an hour or so. We've been on a bunch of different buses and stuff. We finally made it. Uh, it's raining a little bit, but hoping that nobody's there so it just makes the experience a little better. We are here and we're gonna go through here. So let's go. Yeah. So we're walking towards the park. Already you can see it's a nice bamboo. And then with the rain, it honestly just feels like a rainforest. Crazy. The rain on this day sounded great, so I made sure to record a little snippet so that you could get a feel of what it sounded like. So I don't think this place is actually a tourist spot. Online it actually seems a little lesser known, but if you're interested in going to the spot, I'll have the name of the park and a description for you guys. Structures. Kohongaki. That's called Kohongaki. Kohongaki. Mm. Whoa. After this, we made our way by train to the third and final location. It was again pretty far, but our last day in Kyoto, so we had to make the trip. 
Eventually, we made it to location 3, which was a train station where you can find light up art based off of kimono textiles. We made it to the 600 pole train station. Pond of Dragon. Wishes are granted if the dragon that landed in Arashiyama is prayed to. If you immerse your hands in the water, your heart will be filled with peace and you will be led to happiness. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. So we're coming up on this statue right now and it's actually the statue of touch this little guy he's so cute he has like a little heart on his head and he is the god of touch so like touch like skin touching like hugs and stuff we also got this foot bath so it's basically an onsen or spa for your feet right now it's closed because of corona but usually right here you could just sit on these benches and then put your feet in the onsen water super good for your skin super relaxing right here right next to the train station so before you go anywhere you could just have a good time here relax and yeah that's so crazy to have at a train station all right, so that is it for the 600 different poles. Super cool to see so many of these lights, especially at night, it just looks so crazy. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like. I work really hard to edit all these together, so I'd appreciate it if you helped with the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, that's all I got for this video. Catch you guys in the next one.